Good, um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Colin Zimudenda from the Cape Birch University in the School of Business. I want to make a presentation to you today entitled Predicting Option Profitability Using Oracle Cristobal. Very nice tool for you to use for your business, uh, for any options, for decision making, extremely good uh, for you to use. Objectives as follows. Um, the learner should be able to be exposed to software aided business analysis before investment, to subject the decision to alternatives before deciding on the best option, and to perform trials on options and decide after many runs which option is better to invest money in. And the uh, learning ask comes as follows. The learner should be able to have ability to input data in the analysis tool to be able to interpret the, the results and apply them and also obtain consistency from various options after many trials in terms of results. That's what we expect the learner to get out of this uh, presentation. The procedure is that uh, for you to be able to make any calculations, uh, let, let's take for instance the example where you want to produce maize. You want to go into maize farming and um, you are thinking to produce between 1,000 to 20,000 cages of maize when you know the price right now to be 0 0.66 cents per kg and the cost about 0 0.5 uh, per kg. And so what you are trying to understand is what kind of profitability you are going to achieve uh, should business be like this. And so you are thinking, what can be the highest price for maize in this country? Uh, it may not go beyond 1.5 per kg. Uh, what can be the least price beyond which you may not be able to even want to do business? Maybe say 0 0.2 quarter per kg. What about the cost? Your cost of production is probably the least can be 1.0.1 0 .1, and the highest cost can be uh, 1.0. So these are the variables you have ingrained, the, the independent variables that you must input into your software to, to determine a forecast, which is in blue, with, um, called a forecast or called the, uh, the dependent variable. So what we're saying is, what will happen to this profit uh, if the maize production uh, varies as well as price and cost? Uh, package. What's going to be the profitability? That is what you, you want to answer. And so to do this, then we go to how to do it. So we go into the software called Cristobal. In there, we are going to define the assumptions and we also define the focus. And so what you see uh, in the gallery are the distributions possible. And the one highlighted is uniform distribution. So uh, production can be on a uniform distribution scale, uh, whereas uh, cost as well as price can also be on the uniform distribution scale. And so where you have these distributions, then you want to determine now what can happen to you should you invest your money. There is what you see as the default in blue is basically the bar chart giving you the result from the least to the to, to the most. So from the least of a loss of about about uh, eight thousand to a gain of about about fourteen thousand. And so you can change that default um, into, into a cumulative curve, which you can see uh, at the bottom, uh, called cumulative frequency view. And so here, now you can be able to put uh, the mark, marker lines on the curve. And so what you see is the mean. So the mean from this business is 1,571.93 quarter. Those are the mean profit. That's the mean profit you can ever have from this business. And so the possibility or the probability that you're going to have zero sales, you're going to have losses on this uh, business, um, is given by uh, a certain range of 35.25%. Uh, so you are going to get nothing from this business uh, at up to that uh, level of 35.25%, uh, meaning that uh, about 64.75% means that you're going to get something. Uh, and the mean of that something is one point is 1571.93 quarter. It's it's a little low, and you don't want to put your money into into this. It's a very risky business. Therefore, you don't want to invest in uh, in maize farming. It is not good for you. Uh, stay away until other factors change. Uh, thank you very much for this lesson. Uh, you shall see lesson two, where we are going to now do a bit more and show you more in terms of how to input data. Thank you very much, and have a good day.